Okay. okay. <laughs> already on uh mic to my face oh, what up guys uh it's me riz l back on the channel with another reaction and today we're gonna get back to doing another ginger reaction my third ginger reaction i believe last time i did puts of consciousness yeah i my second one is puts of consciousness and today we're gonna be doing um okay straight to it ginger perennial live at wacken I'm not sure which Wacken this was. I'm not sure if it was the same Wacken that um, uh, comes from the, like, it's the same Wacken that, uh, what you call, Nightwish is performing at from the footage I've reacted to in my Nightwish reaction so far. But here we are, we're at Wacken again. This seems to be like a thing amongst the maybe European heavy metal fans. I'm not sure. But yes, and uh, this one was suggested by, I hope I'm right, at SLX Dragon what up dude thank you for your support thank you for your um your interest and attention in this channel and helping it grow with the way you do suggestions comments whatever it is bro thank you and uh shit we're gonna do the suggestion suggestion today uh so hey man without further ado here we go guys even though i'm being uh, quite uh, energetic and flamboyant uh today much else to say let's get to it so my wife yeah, baby. Thank you, Shin Jimmy. Uh -huh. Well, doing? with the next song, we must say goodbye to you. Oh. But rather not goodbye, but see you next time. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm 
Somebody marry this woman. By somebody, I mean me. I'm in love. Yo, I'm in love. You. Ah, she my type. She my type, dude. Ah, she my type, dude. Ah, she my type, dude. Mm. Let me take a moment. I don't think an African has fell in love with a European like this in a while in his, in human history. Let me <laughs> let me take a moment. Shit! First off, guys, did you see how she started this shit? She started this shit in the most rock star way a person could start a performance in any genre. She kicked the fucking door down, foot open. This little ass woman, because now I'm noticing she's kind of little. You know what I'm saying? I believe like some people like who are especially performers they can be performers they can be so incredible that you forget like maybe their features are maybe not as big as like their personalities are you know what I'm saying now I'm starting to know to know that she's kind of like a little woman with this giant within her uh, this the spirit of a giant within her and the way she started this performance I was like fuck she kicked down the door to my soul, like, yo, 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 yo. And the song was dope too, guys. I didn't get lost at all. That's the thing. Because it was it was such a perfect performance. It was, it was a mixture of, like, the performance itself and the song itself. Like, it came together in terms of, uh, I don't know if the performance was just so good that uh, the song became good. Because, honestly, songs can do that. I have, like, um, had, like, songs where I've seen, the, I've seen them for the first time in a, a performance. And then when I heard them, it, like in terms of the audio alone, it was like disappointing, honestly speaking, because it wasn't as good as when I heard it in the performance or the way the crowd reacted and everything. You know, it's like for me, Travis Scott's Butterfly Effect in high school, like that song was so iconic to me. But then when I heard the song itself, I was so disappointed, honestly speaking. Not that Butterfly Effect isn't dope. It's just that. When Travis Scott performs it, it's like a totally different thing. Like the song by itself is chilled, but then when he performs it, it's like a rager. Like the whole stadium, arena, wherever he performs it, they go nuts. The thing is insane. The way he performs, it's like he turns it into like a hard song when it's supposed to be a chilled song that you listen to when you're traveling in the nighttime and everything is just chilled and relaxed from a night out. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same with this song. I, I, maybe the audio will be... I don't know, more dramatic, more... Who knows what it'll be. All I know is the song is dope to me. Um, I don't even care to even ask what the song is about. Like, the song is just dope to me, period. Uh, the performance is a, honestly a 10 out of 10 for me. And it was a 10 out of 10 because the performance also smacked. Despite the crowd not... Uh, like, the crowd was hype, but they weren't, like, jumping hype. There was a few mosh pits here and there, but it wasn't, like, everyone, like, all taking off together. You know what I'm saying? 
I think it was just people just wanted to vibe with what she was doing. And honestly speaking, I can't blame them. I'm seeing over here, this thing was from 2019. Huh? Oh, okay. Hey, but that's been me, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notifications, and support this channel so I can earn enough money uh, to fly to Ukraine and get my baby out. You know, she's in danger, man. <laughs> Putin is threatening all kinds of, I don't know, mischief with nuclear weapons and shit. And he's like giving ultimatums for peace talks and shit, guys. I need to get my future baby mama up out of there, guys. For real, though. I'm worried about her, dude. I'm worried about her. Being a black mother is no joke. And that's what she will be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notifications. I enjoyed having this time with you guys here today. And uh, you guys take care, man. Take care. And uh, wish us luck on our marriage. You know, marriage is not a... It's not an easy thing. <laughs> you can tell them all it's way too late. Way too late. Way too late. To stay in this bit. Whole lot of students be trying it. Even the odds. You should just play with your wrist. One hit of quitters from niggas who wait to legit. But I'm still trying to feed it the ride. I had a slip up when Shadi was giving.